last we got the tools panel up here um, I'll put up a a uh, a picture and basically it'll have the the names of each of the tools and with the hotkey next to it I'll put it on right up and then I'll add just talk about them a little bit and then there will be tutorials for each of the tools later on so here's the picture and we've got the selection tool which you use to pretty much just select points, select your picture, you use that to move things uh, around the uh, planes. Um, the next one over is the hand tool. Oh, by the way, the selection tool is V. That's uh, you always want you want to you you want to know this because it makes your project go by so faster and you can work a lot faster. When you can work faster and get things done, you're automatically better than the person or you're automatically a little bit more ahead of the person that doesn't know their hotkeys. I found this to be true a lot of times when I've been working in studios and even on my own. Um, then the next one over is the hand tool. You use that to move your view around. Um, let me import uh, a picture here. We can kind of see what this stuff does. So the hand tool, you can move your viewer basically around. And um, here's the hand tool. You see you can move your picture around. If you move it around and you need to, if you want it to go back, control Z does undo, or you can do edit and then undo right here at the top. You can see the hotkey is control Z. That's another one you want to uh, remember to uh, memorize the hotkey. You'll get, you'll you'll figure it out easily. Um, the next one is zoom which is Z and you can just use that to zoom in or you hold um, alt and it zooms out if you click. But I'll get more into the zooming and all that stuff in different tutorial. Rotate is the next one. That's a W and you basically just rotate. Um, here's, for, here's your camera tools. You, you can add uh, cameras um, into your into your uh, video and then use those to look through to look at different things in 3d space and this is what you use to help control them this is the the uh, pan behind tool um, I'll get into that more often uh, you don't use that a whole a whole lot but you do use it a decent amount the square here that's the mask tool and on some of these, if you click and hold, you'll get more tools that pop up. But these are a different kind of masks that you can have. And Q is the hotkey. The pen tool is good for um, rotoscoping or cutting out or making masks that aren't in the mask tool. Um, that is uh, hotkey G. You have the text tool here. And... Um, it bring, when you click on the text tool, it actually brings up the uh, text uh, box over here, and then you'll want to use that with the paragraph box here to uh, create text. So, hello. The there, I don't think there is a hotkey for that one. The next one is the uh, brush tool. Use that for doing paint strokes and stuff like that. We'll get to that later. The next one is the clone stamp tool. And these, this is kind of like the clone stamp tool in Photoshop. Um, if it, we'll get again, we'll get into more of those. This is the eraser tool, and uh, these three tools that we just went over, those are paint tools, and you use them when you're painting out um, for like uh, comp, uh, comping and stuff like that, visual effects. This tool over here is the roto brush tool, and then you've got the puppet tool. So. It's about time that I guess we end this tutorial part of the tutorial. It's been 10 minutes, so um, I like to keep them a little bit shorter. That way you can like go through and pick different uh, tu tutorials and not have to sit through a long tutorial to figure out just one thing. So maybe you just wanted to see the preferences or whatever, or maybe you just wanted to see what the tools were. So um, you can. I'll try to keep them shorter and 
different and it's shorter smaller videos so you can just go to parts that you need and then you can also just watch them in order so well thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next tutorial